Antimicrobial resistance or AMR has been recognized as a silent pandemic and is a global public health threat for humans and animals. This video will be about animals. More and more antibiotics are becoming ineffective and infectious diseases are becoming difficult to treat due to this phenomenon. On November 21, 2022, the Center for Science and Environment and Down to Earth magazine released a special report to mark World Antimicrobial Awareness Week. The report, released during a webinar, is titled Ethno-Veterinary Medicine, an Alternative to Antibiotics for the Dairy Sector. This year, the theme of WAAW is Preventing Antimicrobial Resistance Together. Prevention implies the adoption of strategies and approaches that can reduce the need for antimicrobials. It provides a cost-effective and easy option to contain AMR, particularly for low- and middle-income countries. The answer is ethno-veterinary medicine, or EVM. Ethno-veterinary medicines, uh, which are traditional and herbal practices, um, have uh, are, are, are medicines which are gaining some traction over the last couple of years uh, from the Indian dairy sector. One of the biggest ongoing programs on EVM in the Indian dairy sector is led by the National Dairy Development Board, or NDDB. NDDB launched the Mastitis Control Popularization Program at Sabar Dairy back in 2014. In 2016, it roped in Transdisciplinary University, or TDU, Karnataka, to explore the use of EVMs. This project spans eight states and 16 milk union and producer companies. Eventually, the program went beyond mastitis disease and is currently addressing 29 diseases. The biggest USP of EVMs is that they can be prepared at home. Simple ingredients of EVMs can work against several bovine ailments. Many of these ingredients are easily available in Indian households. Currently, it has gone beyond homemade preparations to packaged EVM products. Milk unions are manufacturing these products on a no-profit, no-loss basis and providing them to farmers registered with the dairy cooperative. The private sector is also selling these as licensed products. And it seems to be working pretty well. The results say it all. From 2016 to October 2022, 7.8 lakh disease cases have been cured by EVMs at around 80% cure rate. To sum up, 4 out of 5 animals were cured using EVMs. This means access to safe milk for consumers, reduction in treatment expenses, and improvement in the livelihood of farmers. This we know for sure as the number of veterinary calls has reduced, lakhs of rupees have been saved on medical costs, and the cost of antibiotics has reduced too. The role of EVM in livestock development for the present and in the future is beyond dispute. Uh, not just implementing EVF, but monitoring is also very important, documenting their impact on cost, livelihood, health, and how it has helped or reduce AMR load. Consumer awareness, uh, more so in the, in the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week, it is more important to create awareness about, about this very important uh, uh, development that is happening in this country. Globally, scientists are elucidating the effects and action mechanisms of local and indigenous communities' phytomedicines. It has proved to not only cure animals, but also save farmers' expenses and time. Now, taking it forward, we would like all all agencies involved in you know involved in this endeavor of trying to reduce the antibiotics in across the livestock systems to you know to take this up and and, and spread the message that this see you have so much of information already so we have it in all languages you have digitization happening across the country so it is there so we just need to just scale it up and take it to the larger canvas.